It's the Jack Hankey Show. We're coming uh, live from Cedarburg. And that is 53012 for those of you uh, who are interested in sending us hate mail. It's like uh, uh, no guest Beverly today. Hills. No 90210. Guest Jack no is a guest on his own show. <laughs> Treat <laughs> me as such. kind of the norm, isn't it? <laughs> Treat me as such. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, you're a little you're a little light today. Uh, get a little closer to your microphone, will you? Give me a little more juice. Give me a little better. more juice. Better? That's a little better. That'll work. Okay. I think it sounds better for people at home than it does for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're gone. Uh-oh. Come back to me. Still ironing out the kinks, folks. <laughs> Is that better? That's much better. All right. All right. Uh, I'm sending you that damn link today. I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting damn tired of that headset. <laughs> Margo would be very happy if she couldn't hear me when I, my lips were moving. So <laughs> we had a, she would we, say that's a feature. We had a discussion, my darling little daughter and I, last night. A discussion. So, <laughs> hey, I like your mug. Show it off, will you? We made this. Actually, speaking of Margo, my daughter and I made this about. 15 years ago <laughs> at, Gla- at Glaze. Sure, sure. In Deansville. <laughs> the best part is, okay, here's the front of the monkey. Uh, yes. I can just imagine what's coming out. You know, <laughs> 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 only you would drink out of an ass mug. <laughs> <laughs> monkey ass. <laughs> Absolutely. Mine is a uh, nod to my old home, my beloved old hometown. Oh, man. Carpet. Carpet. <laughs> oh, <God>. hey! <laughs> but I, at least I have official Java House beans that I'm partaking in. I am uh, partaking in official <laughs> Folgers, Folgers House Folgers. beans. Oh God! <laughs> uh, the the price was right. <laughs> so, um, well, yeah. well, before you, before you start yammering on about the news, I might do that. What's going on in the world? Um, Let's talk about our guests this week because we got we got a big we got a loaded week. We got a busy it's week. It's like absolutely. it's like a loaded baked potato of a show. This is our last uh, our last low key show. So enjoy low key, <laughs> low key. Yes, that, that was a big thing with those youngins. Wasn't Loki some god of thunder or something? Ah, he's the god of thunder's arch nemesis. Ah, okay. Well, see, show shows how much I care about those cartoons. Come on back to us. We, we, we they need your money. <laughs> Without so, you, <laughs> they can't break even. <laughs> so, so this is the end of the Loki shows. Tomorrow we're having uh, jeweler and diamond expert extraordinaire. Also, local personality, Cedarburg Person of the Year, voted I think multiple times. They actually have a Person of the Year. Yeah. Wow. You, you, you've talked to her. I know I've talked to her. I just I've, I just didn't know <laughs> that I was talking to a oh yeah Person of the Year emeritus. <laughs> yeah, big time. I think after they, they stopped giving out the award because she was so good, I think that was it. <laughs> yeah, <you can't>, there's <laughs> nothing better that. once you've had the best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> George Jones, George Jones. <laughs> oh God! Pat, Patty Hansen will be here tomorrow. Fantastic to talk about jewelry trends, fads, what's going on. Um, yeah. There's a lot popping in the jewelry world, you know, with uh, diamonds and fake diamonds and buying online and all kinds of stuff. And uh, it is becoming the, you know, it, November is here. It's the holiday season. So, you know, what are you going to wear? What do you wear with what? How do you match it sure. up? All that good stuff. I feel like and, my coffee this morning is a fake diamond. <laughs> it's just like a Cuban mine, zirconium. Mine, mine, mine is 20 carat uh, Italian roast. Oh, from, from sure. Rub it in, why don't from, you? From the Java house. <laughs> just go suck on that ass a little bit. Will you? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> this, this is a. Uh, Parents have this on for the preschoolers before they hit the bus. For you're, God's you're sake. already you've already corrupted me. <laughs> I had rules before I met you. You, you, you were you, you you were corroded long before I got a hold of you. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's uh, Patty tomorrow. Uh, then Patty, what? yeah, and then Thursday we have um, the Quizmasters. Right, right on. Bob, uh, yes, Bob and Marsha will be on Thursday. Yes. Don't Last I heard. <laughs> I'll double check to make sure. <laughs> oh God! Could you please? Could you please do your part of the show once? So they're going to be Bob and Marcia Smith, and they have a show on, on the station here, right? The Off Ramp. They're over a hundred episodes, which is absolutely remarkable. That's crazy. It is crazy. They I, and their show is so good. I mean, 
you know, if you just need like a, and that's what they call it, the off ramp, a kind of uh, a break from the insanity of the world. They just, it's a husband and wife who try to stump each other with trivia. Frequently they do. Sometimes they don't. They actually know, you know, they've probably either hacked into each other's notes, you know, <laughs> whatever about the answers prior to the, prior to the taping. But uh, yeah, Bob's a uh, world-class voiceover guy. You, you've heard, you know, when you hear his voice, you'll be like, I've heard that somewhere. And the answer is, yeah, any commercial in the greater Milwaukee area. So he, he really does have a nice voice. He does. And, and uh, look at him. A nice life, I think. I, yeah. I, I don't like him because of that. <laughs> you're, you're resentful. <laughs> you do tend to abhor uh, <laughs> cheerfulness in others. <laughs> don't let about you. you what do you, you throw around a doofus? <laughs> decomposing doofus? Abhor. <laughs> Hey, it beats co- it beats monkey ass. The family show. Quit talking about whores. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, just for that. So, hey, you know, you mentioned uh, moment- <laughs> you're just, you're just mooning me every time you take a sip, for God's sakes. <laughs> um, you were talking uh, before we were discussing guests. And, of course, Friday we should talk, uh, you know, finish our thought here. Uh, Lisa Curtis on Friday, correct? Well, not only, what about Dr. Kelly? Did she did just well. She'll be stopping by probably on Thursday as well. So that's what I was. We were still on yep. Thursday. You're jumping ahead. Yeah. And then and then Friday, Lisa Curtis can finally let go with all the inside scoop of what's been going on. I know she's had it with this this election. We got to talk recalls. Today is it's in my is, notes, uh, baby. It's in my notes. <laughs> are you a believer in recalls? No, I think it's a colossal waste of time, energy, resources, etc. Outside of the fact that recalls do seem to energize the voting base, but I don't no, think it exactly doesn't. in the it, right it, way. It, 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 it energizes <laughs> heat. It sure it does. Does. Yeah, absolutely. But again, I mean, sort of like Andy Kaufman, he used to when he used to get booed, he'd say, well, at least it's a reaction. <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, we should get a seance. We should get a seance going. I'd rather have him on than Steve Jobs. Andy Kaufman. I, I remember, agree. <laughs> remember when he would tick off those wrestlers? Oh, yeah. Well, he went after what? Uh, Jerry the King Lawler was his main. Uh, and Lawler slapped him across the chops on uh, on the Letterman show. Yeah, <laughs> was thing was, and he, you know, it's wasn't amazing, he? though, because Lawler said uh, recently, even in an interview I saw, he said uh, that Andy Kaufman was the best he ever worked with. He said he was just like, you know, so, you know. <laughs> Take that's what worth. <laughs> best but, actor, uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, and then of course, Lisa will unpack everything, uh, from this week. Today's a big day in uh, in the MT district, <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah, the recall stuff. I you can't win when you're an elected official because if, no. if you if you vote how you think you should vote then you're ignoring your constituents and if right. you vote with your constituents then you're just a a worm a, a spineless right. bastard who goes and votes which i think the, the latter description want. fits the bulk of our <laughs> people who are elected to offices these days so um here's the thing you know if you if you run and you and you're honest and then you vote your okay, conscience. That's a problem in theory, right there. The person you, you know, I know. <laughs> no, no I know. but here, here's, but here's, just, here's the design. thing. design. <laughs> These aren't professional politicians, the locals. No. And it's been said many times that local government is where people can have the most impact on their, on their lives because a lot of the stuff that's decided at the national level or even a state level doesn't affect you as directly as right. someone fixing the potholes in your street in front of your mailbox. Like the Absolutely. mayor said, um, Mayor Mike, when we had him on, so yeah. it, I, I am not, you know, whether you like what the people do or not, it's like, okay, well, I, we voted for you. Just kidding. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Now, I want to take it back now. Uh, yeah, take and, it back. There are no the, take backs. <laughs> Native Native American givers. The um, right. yes, very good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Started sweating a little bit there. I it, so I, I know people have the passion. I, you know, the people who have enough passion and drive to get this recall going, but shouldn't they be using that to work with what's in right now until the next election? I, I, I Work with what's in, or maybe put all that energy to organizations like you're going to love this segue, oh, Mr. God. Bob's under the bridge, or maybe right, put that energy towards uh, Mel's charities. These are, you know, talk about impacting your community. If you think you're impacting your community by organizing a recall, 
Probably not. But yeah. uh, if you go, you know, go or Thursday night and help sort. Go, you know, that's the kind of stuff that does impact the community. Help Sarah Gilday at the the uh, adult right liter- literary center literacy Absolutely. center. I mean, yep. speaking of education, there there are people who need help yeah. with education, and they're looking for they're looking for volunteers, and. Yeah, I can't volunteer. I'm too too uh, busy. Give me the recall. <laughs> so can I? I'm recalling a, a that March. asshole that didn't March. vote the way I wanted. It, did they? Oh, oh, they didn't vote the way I wanted to vote. Oh, uh, what a tangled web. When 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 do the early returns come in? Do you know? Do you have any I idea? I Something we're like all going to know once I get to the news. I, here, I Jackson. no no no. You won't know the news. I have got it right here. You, I, you, I, I printed it out, man. Man, <laughs> don't man me, bro. <laughs> God. You're hey, some, don't bro you're, me, dude. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, potato chips. Yeah, bro's you know, big now again. I, 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 I cringe every time I hear that. Like, oh, we did that in like '84. You, you did know, not. Bra? I did. You, Others did. <laughs> you did. I didn't. <laughs> you were a total bra. <laughs> That's not what I think of when I hear that word. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know you we know what you think of. Hey, let's uh, let's raise up the level of this show and I'll uh, rattle off the news. Well, h- how could we not? It's impossible Absolutely. not to. All right, 13 minutes past the hour. That means it's news time. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, one of your favorites, I know, <laughs> returned to its pre-pandemic form this year with its route restored through Manhattan. High-flying helium balloons once again pulled by handlers and crowds. Welcome back to cheer them on. That's right. They're going to cheer on inanimate uh, plastic with filled with gas. Um, <laughs> this year's parade, the 95th annual, that's actually impressive, will snap back to form after bowing to pandemic restrictions snap last year. Snap back to form? Back to form. A parade snaps back to form. Well, if really? I was truly back to form, they'd get Willard Scott out there, but that's going to require you know, some shovels. And some Sands, another member for the Sands. Yeah, I would, I, right. I would you not. Want to, you want to invoke we, the spirit of Willard Scott? No. If you let me finish, you're always interrupting. I can never finish a sentence. Uh-huh. Jeff. Um, we should have a Sands team. You know, who who would you most want to talk to his past? Willard Scott would not be in my top 1,000. I mean, he looked like a nice guy, and he sure. he, he was – a Ronald McDonald, wasn't he? That's not how he got started. Yeah, I think you're right. That sounds right. <clears throat> yeah, well, of course. You just remember what you just said and repeat that over and over. Um, so, so. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, boy. Let's up this, uh, All right. You know. would, you, would you please finish? Yeah. You, you got two lines into the news, and then you veered off again, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, what was, someone started a seance in the middle of the news came out. <laughs> That's news in itself. So 15 giant, giant character balloons. I, I'm always sad they don't have a Godzilla one, of course, but what can you do? 28 floats, 36 novelty and heritage inflatables, and more than <laughs> here's one for you, 800 clowns. <laughs> no way. Just too many damn clowns. Uh, 10 marching bands, 9 performance groups, and of course, the big one, Santa Claus. Uh, got some new balloons coming this year. Uh, very exciting. They're not telling me what they are. Oh, wait, they oh, are. Uh, they said oh, Ada Twist. Okay, who's Ada Twist? Scientist and the Pokemon characters Pikachu and Eevee will be there. Got to catch them all. Uh, the Rockettes will be there because they um, they do they perform a very vital vital service. <laughs> the kick, um, oh, and uh, yeah, big time, big time. So you you watch that? You tune into that thing? Are you? Uh, yeah, well, we do. It's so Hell cheesy, no. and I love every bit of it. What? I I, I never miss the Macy's parade. <laughs> Kids and I just I mean it's one of those things. I you just are, you're screeching halt. <laughs> <laughs> your life is a screeching halt. That is Can you take the break. Let your get your foot off the brake. What what do you watch? You watch it. It goes on for how long? Oh, about three hours, break. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> you tune I'm doing other things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta stir the you know, stir the stuff. Uh, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, you make this you make this stuff. No, my ex does. And she will this year too, which is great. <laughs> so. Are you getting rid of the kids? Are they going to her, her house? No, actually, we are all clustering <laughs> up at Howard and Sherry's house. Oh, Just like the old days. Really? Yeah. And you're not going to allow Howard and Sherry to have any part in it with the turkey? They'll they'll dine. Yeah, the turkey uh, we we're going to have, that's going to be a conversation. I already started the conversation and it wasn't popular. <laughs> this, this you should be used to. I am used to it, actually. I am subject, very used to it. Pick a subject, any subject. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Oh, my God. Oh, here's a subject. Um, anticipating a green light from vaccine advisors, the Biden administration is assembling and shipping millions of COVID-19 shots for children's age, children's age 5 to 11. The White House. Children. First, Did to you go into children? kids' arms by midweek. That would be tomorrow. So, kids, if you're uh, nervous about shots, tomorrow's your day. Uh, <laughs> by vaccinating children, the U.S. hopes to head off another coronavirus wave during the cold weather months when people spend more time indoors and respiratory illnesses can spread more easily. Cases have been declining for a few weeks, but the virus has repeatedly shown that it's a wily one. That doesn't say that. But um, <laughs> on Tuesday, a special advisory panel to the CDC We'll need to consider detailed recommendations for administering the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine to younger children. Do you have any Pfizer BioNTech stock, Jack? <laughs> Got it in your portfolio? You just no, no, okay. You just, no, you you said portfolio. Yeah. Well, you know, I understand stonks. <laughs> The, the you have to explain that. Never, you never community. cease to amaze me. I will, I will give you that. <laughs> so that's what the news is all about. <laughs> I still can't get, I'm still stuck on. I'm still stuck on the th- three hours spent on the Macy's parade. I just can't get over that. <laughs> I'm gonna live stream me watching it for you, so you can watch me watching it. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do for you. That's the, the Jack Henke Show special edition for Thanksgiving. Everyone watching me watching the parade. <laughs> That's what I want to do for our viewers and listeners. Hey, speaking of elections, <clears throat> hey, voters began casting ballots across the U.S. early Tuesday, which would be today, in the first wave of elections to test new Republican restrictions on the ballot and give election officials a chance to counter a year's worth of misinformation about voting security. Officials said demonstrating secure, consistent, and fair practices could help reassure those who still have doubts about last year's presidential election as they begin preparations for next year's midterms. It's a great dress rehearsal for 2022, said Minnesota Secretary of State Steve Simon. Also, uh, Vladimir Putin said the same thing. (laughs) Actually, so that's all great. We are, we're checking things out today. It's good. Uh, much of the attention will be on Virginia and New Jersey, where voters are casting ballots for governor and other statewide races. Um, they say for the rest of the country, voters were making selections on a variety of local races, <clears throat> ranging from mayor and city council to school board. <laughs> and we know all about that. Uh, For some, the voting experience will be different from last year when officials implemented pandemic-related changes to make it easier for voters to avoid crowded polling places. So there we go. Really? Um, We don't have anything. We don't have anything we're voting on here in Cedarburg, do we? I mean, it's it's an off day, isn't it? Way to be connected. Oh, define (laughs) off day. (laughs) My off day started when (laughs) That's all. My off day started when I didn't set my alarm clock correctly. (laughs) Hey, let's talk about this tragedy in uh, the movie world. Uh, when Santa Fe Sheriff investigators, uh, while Santa Fe Sheriff's investigators continue to determine what happened on the set of the movie Rust with Alec Baldwin, a California lawmaker is moving forward with plans to introduce legislation that would restrict the use of live ammo on film sets, along with why? Are, why? Why? Why is there any live animal, ammo on a film set? <laughs> why is there any live animals on those? <laughs> I yeah, think yeah. your first one too. Um, yeah, that seems pretty irresponsible and cavalier um you know i think in hong kong you know jackie chan used to like get shot three times a year or something and it was no big deal because there's no insurance for those kind of movies so but we are supposed to be a bit more uh you know evolved here i guess in our film industry i don't know it's it's a disaster we've had tragedies before and we didn't seem to learn from them so um state senator dave cortezzi said that he has received input from the state legislative council office on the draft of a bill though the exact text can't be released yet under senate rules cinematographer helena hutchins was killed and director joel souza was injured on october 21st when baldwin while rehearsing a scene fired from a prop gun and i guess we use the word prop loosely so uh, interesting I, mean, yeah. I don't know i mean that's that whole thing is a mess and they're going to have to undo that and it's going to take months and you know <laughs> so it's it's sad i mean ultimately it's just really sad that somebody loses their life on a film set of all things as a film fan you don't like to see that or hear that so responsibility that's why we don't use any live ammo here on the jack hanky show <laughs> you are so lucky <laughs> but i've been close so many times <laughs> god all right uh finally on tuesday speaking of elections <laughs> voters in the mequon thingsville school district will go to the polls they will ride to the polls on their horses screaming through the streets <laughs> to decide that's why, whether to replace that's why they call school up- board members 
they ride in their horses. I that's believe called, so. That, yes. That's called a that's called a gallop pole. The re- yeah. uh, <laughs> very good. Okay, I won't use any right. live ammo on you. All right, today. I got to go back to good. bed. That's that, was damn, that was damn witty. What can I say? <laughs> oh, <damn witty. laughs> um, when the recall election was scheduled in September, four challengers stepped forward to run against the incumbents. Scarlett Johnson. Every time I read that, I think Black Widow's running. Um, yes, <laughs> is running me too. against the incumbent. <laughs> Chris Schultz. Chris Cattell is running against incumbent Akram Khan. Charles Lawrence is running against who we got here. I have to flip my page. Incumbent so, Eric Hollander and so, Cheryl Rebels is running against incumbent Wendy Francoeur. So they Whoever don't. Wins, so wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So they don't just say our four against your four. You have to be against. This. It's like a singles match. I uh, yeah. Death match. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it should be tag team. It's, really? It's not a, is that a gangbang? <laughs> it's a, it's a so it's a money match. in the bank match. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wins the seats held by Con and Schultz will hold them. until This is great. They will hold them until April of 2022. And whoever wins the seats held by Frank Corn Hollander will hold them until April of 23. So basically, you're getting. Why would you run months. for the short one? I'd say I, I want the longer term. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can, Although, can we make a deal? <laughs> who would, in Mequon things will open at 7 a.m. So they're already rolling, close at 8 p.m. Um, here's the th- uh, answer to your question from before. Election results will be posted on the Mequon Thingsville School District's website as soon as possible after the polls close at 8 p.m. The district anticipates it will take about an hour to collect results for each polling place and post the results. It might take two hours for us to add or subtract votes we don't like. No, it doesn't say. <laughs> so there we go. Depending on. Depending on the, the size of the envelope that the candidates give you, <laughs> right, how, right. how thick it is, if you know what I'm saying. Color of ink. Uh, um, <laughs> and I guess to answer your question, maybe to fill people in who aren't as familiar with this, uh, reasons for the recall are thus. Uh, the recall organizers cite numerous reasons for the recall, including declining academic performance, critical race theory. That's an interesting one to unpack. Uh, concerns over COVID-19 mitigation measures what it calls the board's abdication of duties to the superintendent, meaning they were letting the superintendent do his job. (laughs) How dare they? And that parents haven't been able to get answers from the board about their concerns. I'll see you at the polls. All right. (laughs) There we go. That's the news for today, everybody. If you have kids, well, wait a minute. We, we got to stay on the school board thing. Oh, no, I will not go anywhere. I just say that's the end of my official. (laughs) (laughs) You you have. I no longer have children in any school district. So lucky bastard. You, you, you do. You <laughs> yes, do. do. <laughs> you have them all over. You've sprinkled them all over the place. Indeed. I have indeed. <laughs> we're, we're infecting ourselves on taxpayers across Infecting statewide. and affecting. <laughs> um, so do you follow what the school board does in each of the districts? I never ever have because I've never had a reason to because a school board has as far as I'm concerned, the most important things they're going after is what kind of sporks should we use this, use this year in the hot lunch line? What kind of hot lunch? You know, I mean, I don't know. It just, they've never, <clears throat> I mean, I've had nothing but satisfaction by and large from all of the schooling uh, my children have gotten. So like I've never had a reason to look into the school board. I mean, the best school board is the one that's neither seen nor heard. I suspect Unfortunately, lately, we've been seeing and hearing a lot of them. So I feel a little weird well, about this. Well, we don't hear from the board as much as we hear no. from the opposition. Right. So right. so the board is like the offensive line. They, they, sure. They don't, when they're doing their job, you don't hear about them. Yeah. If we want to use football right. analogy, analogies this morning, absolutely. Sure. sure. <laughs> Why not? Um, sprinkle it in there. So I don't I'm, I'm you know, whether you even Scott going back to Scott Walker, whether you, you, yeah. you're for or again, I mean, you knew what that guy was all about when, oh, sure. he, was, when, when he was elected. Um, you might not know every single thing he was going to do, but certainly he was, whether you liked him or not, he was, you could say, okay, this guy's pretty consistent. You know right. where he's going. Yeah. So if he's in, we're, that's, we're going to have to either you, you love it or you, you have to live with it. Until right. you get it you deal with it. <laughs> yeah. But um, so I, even then, and there were strong, strong feelings about that recall both ways even you remember um judge wolf graham was yeah. his name he signed the recall uh, right, right. petition and cost him his judgeship yeah. basically yeah. i mean no one was ever going to forgive him for that no i mean that's just the way it was so well, these, and as a judge you should be smart enough to know that that's one signature you probably shouldn't <laughs> put on anything because <laughs> it'll come up yeah of course i'll come to haunt you yeah well well sure 
Um, but, Public record. So yeah, but you know this the whole the whole idea behind a recall. Someone has to convince me why why they're even legal. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't get it. unless someone says you you elect uh, a communist and they when they they get elected they say okay now I'm really in the fascist party and this is where we're going. You know <laughs> that kind of. I believe with the turn, example turn. you use, they usually hang someone. <laughs> I don't think it's a right. recall. I think it's a public hang. That's why. <laughs> <You're, laughs> well, they, they, they were extremes. I was, <laughs> I was looking at extremes because, I mean, now uh, some of your friends uh, in the Bridge of the Divide, they're mm-hmm. suing one of the candidates. And, yep. I mean, Bridge of the Divide has done wonderful things. Now they're in this. I didn't. Yeah. Hold it. Uh, so. I yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. Well, I mean, I I've talked to Erica about it, and I understand why she's doing it. Um, I don't know if it would be my first choice. Um, but that's you know because they they've done a lot of good. The Bridges Divide has done an amazing you know amazing bunch of. Luckily for her, she's not you. Right, <laughs> right. Yes. Luckily for most, they not here. <laughs> um. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, I guess, I feel like people are do, doing politics wrong. Like, there's a way of doing it, and we've done it well in the past, at least better than this. And um, uh, I don't know. know. See, I, well, first I'm going to take, I, I don't even believe that's true, Bulldog. I, I think the the some of the elections in the 1800s were just downright violent. And oh, well, that's true. That, and the stuff that they would do. Yeah, that, they, they just they just didn't have any interweb where everybody knew everything of what was really going on. Right. I right. mean, it's it just they just weren't as connected. Right. Um, but is that connectivity then that we've achieved? Is this a good thing then? I mean, you know, it's for it's, you know, it's good for us in the show. <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean plenty of fathers, right? And some mothers, and some, some mothers and fathers, absolutely <laughs> tough mothers, and, and, and they're the ones who are in the school board thing. Tough, true. T- tough mothers and fathers, tough mothers and tough fathers. Yeah, I mean it's interesting because what's going on in Mequon Thienesville, which is pretty horrific. I mean, if you drive through town, we I went to uh, the amazing, wonderful Chuck's place two weeks ago for breakfast with uh, my kid. And on the way in, you, you only took one. You have five. Why did you only take one? Because they nobody wanted to get up. And of course, afterwards, <laughs> we, it was Saturday morning. And they were all like, bummed out. Hey guys, <laughs> going to Chucks. And they love Chucks. And then we get back. Like, what did you tell us? I'm like, I did. And you said something that sounded like English, but I wasn't sure what it was. They so all I heard Chucks. was your. <laughs> so, uh, um, on the way in, we passed. Oh, easily forty. <laughs> 50 signs, all conflicting signs for the recall. And I thought, you know, this is such clutter that you don't even, there's no message coming, you know, there's no message that's landing. It's just, uh, it's a bunch of signs fighting with each other. It's not even people. It's like it's, the signs are duking it out on everyone's yard. It's it's ridiculous. So, yeah, it's just sad. And I, I hope that, you know, Cedarburg, which, you know, we've got a few things cooking with our board here too. I, I hope that they can at least take a page out of Mequon Deansville's book and say, ah, oh, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, let's not replicate that. But I don't know. Is this a wave that's running like, you know, south to north? I mean, it's like, uh, you know, should everyone in Belgium be terrified right now? <laughs> well, I guess they probably should. You know, Newburgh, my God, what are they going to do in Newburgh? For heaven's sake, that, that'll be the same. Don't even lost. bring up Newburgh is by far the most disappointing community to me, for me. They they talk about fodder. They used to be the mother of all fodders. We could of, get entire shows out of that place. Uh, shows? We got months <laughs> yes, we off did. it. No one is, to this day, no one ha- knows what happened to that reporter that <laughs> did that one story about the, 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 the best story of all time that's ever been in a local... Um, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, I mean, it was unbelievable. He disappeared. They got too many... We have too many ethics via, uh, meetings here. Uh, we're just going to... We're going to do the right thing. Oh, good. You're going to investigate? No, no, no. We're just going to disband the ethics board. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> now, People looking for that reporter, I would say, have you dragged the creek? <laughs> we asked Lisa Curtis. She goes, no one's ever heard from him again. <laughs> I know this is alarming. I, I find this alarming. We probably shouldn't even be talking about this. I, I, I think he's buried in pieces under River Edge somewhere <laughs> out there. Wind in, blowing in sand New- over the snow <laughs> in the shallow river. Man. Because <laughs> spaghetti was. <laughs> What about spaghetti westerns? Yeah. Okay. For once, I'm going to go off the, the tracks a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you get 
um, the other night when we shot the pumpkin, not shot, we shot video of the pumpkin. <laughs> shot, problems again on the set. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, quit using blanks. <laughs> <laughs> did you get the deep? Have you listened to the Dick Diefenbach? I did. Part? Turned out really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Great. It sounds great. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be, uh... I, I, as soon as I heard him talking, did you catch the, by chance, the guy who was there before us? Was I was asking so Dick busy questions. trying to keep the camera from falling out of my hands. I, I, that's, that's why I went over to Dick. I, you, if you didn't see Dick's face, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and Dick and, and Dick's an account retired. He's seen it all done. He's like, oh, yeah. this most time. But oh, yeah. Absolutely. The guy in front, the guy who was went up to it before us, <laughs> went up in the middle of the pumpkin walk where right. everything's Halloween. Everybody's handing out candy and they got Halloween <laughs> stuff and Harry, Harry Potter film festival. And the guy goes, <laughs> Wow, this doesn't happen often. <laughs> Do I need to do a commercial break? What are you going to have? A spaghetti Western film festival. <laughs> 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 and Dick goes. <laughs> Dick goes, and then being the true smoothie that he is, yeah. Dick goes. I'll go ask. <laughs> and he was, Jerry and Alice, Jerry he, 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 he went and asked Jerry and Alice. Rick and Tony, uh, Pasta Chili, anything? Spaghetti Western. Here you are. <laughs> you, know, you, might say, you might say when there's nothing showing, there's nothing going on, no other themed thing all around you. In, right in the middle of the, uh, of the pumpkin walk. Excuse me, get out of the way, kids with the candy. Get out of here. I want to know. I love these Harry Potter. Get out of here, you freak. I want to know when there's going to be some goddamn Clint Eastwood on here. <laughs> when are you going to have more Eli Wallach? <laughs> Where's Lee Van Cleef? Was he in this Harry Potter nonsense? <laughs> Spaghetti Western. That's awesome. That I, haven't, awesome. I haven't even heard that term in 100 years. Oh, and here was my. Like, I, you know, you know me, I own them all. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I have a great one that would be great to see on the uh, marquee. Oh, let Alice me play it. one. What's that? Let me borrow it. <laughs> I have an extra copy. I would let you borrow this one, actually. It's because uh, I know <laughs> it's adios amigo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's the big sleep. Um, no, there's one with uh, uh, Rod Steiger and James Coburn called my favorite title, Duck, You Sucker. <laughs> No, the name there's no yep. such thing. They renamed it in America a fistful of dynamite because a fistful of dollars was doing really well. So uh, excellent, excellent spaghetti western. I mean, I think in the first five minutes there's at least 40 corpses. <laughs> I mean, it's just... <laughs> That's a lot of pasta. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pasta. Yes. Did I send you that thing on the, the 40 best movie opens, opening shots of all time? And you just run them all together as clips from all these different movies. Oh, and no, I, I don't think you did. I would actually enjoy that. Or if you did, yeah. I ignored oh, it. Oh, may, may, maybe that's why I didn't send it because I knew you would like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather taunt you. I understand. <laughs> Speaking but, of taunting, okay. I yeah, hear. Wait. Well, oh, yeah? go. What? Go. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead. We're, we're so far a rumor lost, that there's right. this uh, McDonald's story. <laughs> I got two. Uh, two of them. Good. Give us the clean one. Although this show is probably so far gone, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> the clean one is do you know what's been missing from has disappeared from McDonald's. Yeah, the McBrot. Over... <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Only you, before I can even finish the question. <laughs> so, hey. who, even, who, even, who even remembers the McBrot? It might be a sore spot. Who, it who, might be... <laughs> who even remembers the McBrot? Yeah, the McBrot. <laughs> like... You're right up there with the Spaghetti Western guy. <laughs> God. Do you know what's been disappearing from McDonald's the last time you? Yeah, the McBrot. Where is it? I'm I'm unhappy. You don't think you're gonna keep me mollified with some double fillet of fish? Might be a little bent out of shape about it. <laughs> did you like the McBrot? It did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a true yeah, Johnsonville. Did, did you ever wonder how McDonald's would prepare a McBrot? I don't want to know how they, they have prepare and make anything. <laughs> I just <laughs> want to eat it. I don't want to. Don't tell me what's going on back there. <laughs> Do you ever think about that? Did they did they take a McBrot a brat and put it in the deep fryer? 
<laughs> Did they put it on their flat grill with all the grease that's there from the from the frozen burgers? Stop here. You're getting me all warm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oink, oink. <laughs> Get over yourself. <laughs> I, and uh, that's another thing. Uh-huh. A McBrad comes from, allegedly, <laughs> if it's real broad, come, <laughs> comes from a cloven hooved animal. That's true. McD- there's always a McDonald's exemption. <laughs> <laughs> like a little asterisk, <laughs> right in the Torah scrolls. Oh, God, <laughs> unless that sounds it's disgusting. Because it's not food. McDonald's isn't food, so therefore, <laughs> let her rip. <laughs> so, I'm a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> you are lucky that we're not in the same room. I'd be, str- I'd be strangling you. <laughs> What's oh, been yeah. missing from McBrod? Okay, anybody who's out there. If you ever have had a McBrot, number one, and number two, miss the McBrot. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the important part. It's not so much that you've had one, it's if you're wistful for one. <laughs> wistful. <laughs> old, old part. <laughs> McWist. So there we go. <laughs> Everyone's like, McWhy. <laughs> the only... <laughs> Gruber, um, yes. Mick, 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 Mick West. I'm Mick West for the chopped steak, chopped beef steak sandwich. That was damn good. I don't remember that, that one. I was too busy with the McBride, I guess. I didn't never, <laughs> never made it over. To ch- it, it was around 100 years before the McBride. Okay. All right. It was a, it was like on a sub hoagie roll. Okay. And then it had actual raw onions on it with a little, mm. some kind of, really authentic steak sauce i'm sure as my um, grandfather would say i bet that repeated on you <laughs> <laughs> like a mcrat wouldn't <laughs> well you know, i'm not one to judge <laughs> <laughs> yes you are <laughs> all right well the, the thing that where i was going with this mcdonald's you know it, it's actually a who ronald Mc, oh. ronald mcdonald <laughs> Is yes. missing in action. He's well, well, he's probably one of the 800 clowns showing up for the Do you think the clown parade. thing? Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, Ronald, uh, Ronald was a whole universe unto himself. You know, they would sell um, McDonald's play sets and they had like action figures of like Grimace and yeah, well, the pirate okay, guy now, and everything. Yeah. The pirate guy. Hamburglar. Yeah. Hamburglar. That's who it was. The pirate guy. The, yeah. Hamburglar <laughs> was kind of a creepy, but. <laughs> it was very interesting. Yes. Even- <laughs> yeah, he kind of Every- rubble, rubble. I think that was his, that was his uh, kind of. Uh- <laughs> Everybody liked Grimace. What happened to all those guys? But the fry guys came along. Remember those guys? The fry guys. Those were creepy. They were like those, these furry things on, like with sneakers. <laughs> these strange. Uh, looked like the ghosts from Pac Man. They were known as the Fry Guys. They were late, late era McDonald's uh, citizens of McDonald's oh. Land. That was oh, what's called oh. in McDonald's Land. You got a play set that looked just like a McDonald's, and you could actually run a little drive through. And you know, I mean, I thought, man, talk about marketing. Jeez, you get these eight year olds who are like, I'm going to go play McDonald's for two hours. <laughs> like, we know where you're heading now. Post graduate. Well, now that you say that, one of my kids for Christmas didn't get Christmas, did not get McDonald's Land, but they got um, a headset. And some plastic fries and stuff. That they, they could act like they were doing the drive-through thing. Talk about such tra- confidence you have in your children. Talk, yeah. <laughs> Just trying out a few things. See where, <laughs> see where your skills are. Where your skill set lies. <laughs> Eventually, bulldogs would come and order a bunch of McBrots from you. <laughs> but but what? But Ronald McDonald was the the freaking namesake of the of the franchise. He I mean, was the what man. Happened, what happened to him? He didn't. Did he get buried with Willard Scott? <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, yeah, you know, you don't even see his uh, his face around, uh, you know, the, the current modern McDonald's doesn't seem to include a Ronald McDonald's uh, representation <laughs> anywhere. So uh, they still have the Ronald McDonald house. They call that for the, uh, you know, which is a good, uh, you know, good cause and everything for kids who are families for kids who are sick. But that's that's nice. But that's about the only place you'll see the, even the word Ronald McDonald around a McDonald's. So that's interesting. We, we Maybe we should start a campaign on this show to bring him back. No, (laughs) (laughs) you're not as passionate about this as I thought. No, it's just weird. It's just weird. The whole thing is it's a reverse recall. We want him back. (laughs) (laughs) We're recalling him. Head to the polls. (laughs) We're recalling him. (laughs) 
<laughs> Riri, I'm getting McWistful <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> what, whatever shall I do with this McWist? <laughs> <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> Macbeth. <laughs> Macbethford. <laughs> I'll have I'll supersize my mem super supersize my Mac Macbeth meal. <laughs> Did you know that you know that Shakespeare actually meant there to be no A in Macbeth? It was just supposed to be M M M M M M M Scottish Mac spelling, yes. Macbeth. We should we should do a new Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be your next that'll be your next screenplay. It'll be a million dollars. No, we will do we do the Jack the Jack Hanky players. <laughs> <laughs> with a golden arch. <laughs> and you can have it by a, a, a chocolate Shakespeare. <laughs> That's it. I'm rewriting it. Now. I'm going to do an adaptation. <laughs> I'm going to be here. Any actors out there who want a piece of the action? Give me a call. <laughs> piece of the action. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of a piece of the action, you know there are. You're finally going to do the pornographic part. So kids, cover your ears. No. Oh. You know. Do you know how there are things on the menu at certain places that aren't on the menu, but if you ask for them with a the nudge and a wink, you can get like the special Absolutely. sandwich. Oh yeah. Have you ever heard of a, a, a McCain? <laughs> a what? <laughs> I'm scared. Hold, hold the button. Get, get, the, get the button ready. I'm a gangbang. <laughs> I, I have not. I, <laughs> See? You want fries with that? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a McChicken sandwich between the upper and lower sections of a double cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> And there are certain McDonald's that they'll know what you're talking about. Yes, yes. Oh no. Are there any in our um, in our district that might know? That? I don't know. Well, we need to, we need a fact finding tour here. I know you know who you know who will you're, check this out. Johnny, Johnny will check this out for us. Johnny, you, yeah. We should oh, send yeah. him. Oh, no. Being our correspondent, he's a, one of our principal correspondents that's, on the that's show. Why, that's why I wanted to have him on. If he got a hold of this on air, you can imagine where he'd go with it. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> I, I think our, our, North, our North Carolina correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> we, he's, you got to write him in to Macbeth. Be, <laughs> I think he definitely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's br that's brilliant to Macbeth. That's beats McGangbang. <laughs> <laughs> You know the uh, one of the Cohen brothers, without the other brothers, doing a uh, adaptation of Macbeth that's showing up on. Uh, I think Apple TV is getting that. I think it's getting a little theatrical run. So yeah, uh, Denzel Washington is playing <laughs> Macbeth. <laughs> so. uh, did they still have forty nine cents? Forty nine cent ice cream Cohen brothers at the, at the vanilla Cohen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Cone Brothers are anything but vanilla, so I wouldn't say that. Absolutely. And and then I have this other, I have this news story that actually yeah. appeared in today's Conley publications. Of Very the good. News, Cedar Reduce graphic. Culver's Cutter Curter Burger. Remember ah. your time. <laughs> Sparks record sales. Yep. On, on National Cheese Curd Day. I tried. I tried to get one. What? Wasn't even gone by eleven. The what? two locations I tried. You tried two locations? I did. I was desperate. <laughs> you are an idiot. I wanted to be able to report on this show how the Curtin Burger was. This is this is out in uh, you know the hot spot of, of the world, Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin. After much months of anticipation, the Culver's Cutter Burger took the nation by storm on National Cheese Curd Day, October 15th. Cheese loving guests flocked to Culver's locations nationwide to get their hand on the burger, fueling single day sales records at 20% of restaurants. Originally an April Fool's joke on Culver's social media challenge channels, the Curter burger was met with pleas for the restaurant chain to make the burger a real menu item. So the Culver's team developed the Curter burger in a span of three months. 
We knew this was going to be a fun moment for us to give our guests something they truly wanted, but we were still blown away by the overwhelming response, said Quinn Atkins, Culver's Director of Menu Development. Boy, I can't imagine. <laughs> now that's the job I want. <laughs> Let's see. How can we reformulate the grease? I better have um, another burger to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting to see pa the passion guests showed on National Cheese Curd Day and it inspired us <laughs> to continue creating the menu items they crave. Wisconsin Culver's locations were selling Curder burgers between 10 a.m. and noon at a pace over three times that of burger sales on an average day. Unbelievable. We're thrilled to see guests rally behind the Curder Burger. It sounds, <laughs> makes it sound like there's some cause. Do it for the Curder Burger. And turn out in record numbers to restaurants around the country. We continue to, to see that no matter how high we set our expectations, our dedicated guests always find a way to succeed them. Uh, which Madness. we could, we can we can do a little translation there. No matter how we repackage this grease, we're always amazed that people will buy it. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't fool Hanky and Associates when it comes to ad slogans. <laughs> are you are you a Culver's? Where do you rate Culver's versus, um, like, you know, I have to give, I'm, I, the, um, the Hefners. You got to give them credit. There's mm. there's a place that has oh, a God, sense I of humor. Do you? Hefners. What's your, what, what's, what's your go to at Hefners? Oh, just give me a double and keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a double cheeseburger. A, a double ham, double cheeseburger. I thought double you couldn't eat dairy, you liar. Don't you have? Don't you have? Well, there's cheese on it, which is dairy. Oh, yes. Drop in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but they have great. <laughs> they have great. The huge Hefner. What a great. What yeah. a great name for the burger. You Worked ever had out that? well. Well, I like what they do with their fish sandwich. <laughs> the giant fish sandwich called Jaws. Yeah, that's another one. They have a little <laughs> bit of a sense of humor over there. At, Every day, at, yeah, they do. <laughs> Actually, today that. is a big day. It's, uh, I believe, uh, what is it? Uh, $3 two, burgers. $3 burgers on Tuesdays. Yeah. So it used, uh, to, be, I might, uh, used to be two fifty. Oh, really? Yeah, that's yeah. what it was, wasn't it? I, I smell shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I demand that, a recall. That's a, that's a shamrock <laughs> shake, you mean. Um, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so you you prefer them over Culver's? I do. If I'm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What about them? Are you a cops person? If I'm in that neck of the woods, yeah, yeah, you can find me a cops. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Wagon wheel size burgers, no problem. Hey, you know, the interesting thing with Culver's is that the reason they have yet to introduce this um, Curter burger as a regular menu item is they know. That that would kill more Wisconsinites than coronavirus. <laughs> so, they don't I mean, want to the, kill off their the own customers. The mortality rate statewide would just drop. I mean, it can't be, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be someone who's going to be like, I need my daily Curta burger. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a guy who, who like, isn't there somebody who all they did was eat Big Macs for lunch for like 50 years? The guy who did that uh, Super Size Me movie did that for a few months. And uh, there were well, that was some, different. Yeah. There were medical professionals who were like, <laughs> Yeah, you, you got about three more Big Macs left, pal. <laughs> it's worth it. Life ain't, life ain't worth living without him. <laughs> he does not. He, he was not McWistful at all. <laughs> oh, no. no. McWist. We'll, be, yeah. <laughs> we'll have Mick regrets. Yes. So, very cool. So you you like Hefner's. I do. I'm a big fan. Just a, Do you eat fries or onion rings or anything like that? Yeah. I mean, that's. That's not the uh, the main draw, but well, um, no. But when it comes to fries, actually, I think I prefer Culver's fries over Hefner's fries. If you wanted to, you know, hold the gun. No, in I think so. Yeah, like uh, Culver's does the Hefner crinkle fry type thing, and uh, yeah. Hefner's Hefner is a little stringier. You know? Yeah, skinnier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like those. Yeah, you know, onion rings. Getting more. Yeah, those are you can't go wrong there either. They have a uh, uh, Hefner's has an insane. They do this burger of the month thing. Did you see what they're doing this yeah, month? I saw one that was <laughs> stacked with like all kinds of stuff. Is, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Well, this is stacked. All right. Um, they've done, you know, they do like a pub burger type of thing where you get your um, barbecue sauce and they'll, you know, get. But this 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 thing here, let me see if I can dig it up here. I want to make sure I, don't, I get this right. Um, why, why start now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the purveyor of fake news here in regards purveyor. to. Purveyor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you purvey this. <laughs> I got it. Okay. This just did. The burger of the month at Hefner's is the PB&J burger, ladies and gentlemen. It's a cheeseburger topped with American cheese, 
So far, so good. Creamy honey chili peanut butter, jalapeno raspberry jam, and of course, what else? What's missing on there? Of course, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the bacon. <laughs> so that's the PB and J burger, six dollars and forty nine cents at your area Hefner's. And there's only one, so it's always the area Hefner's. But uh would you eat a PB and J burger? Will you eat a PB and J burger for the show? <laughs> I, I would try it. I, All right. Well, I mean because the, the the um if it was regular jam and regular peanut butter, that could be a problem. but those but those they have an interesting sounding. The additives don't do yeah. help. Yeah. So, because well, yes. the jalapeno should cancel out the strawberry <laughs> <laughs> pretty well, I would think. I'm not a big jalapeno guy. Oh. Although, although, that, I think the jalapeno, interestingly enough, going to another crazy event, the Scary Buddy Mary Walk, which yeah. I, which eventually will show that, that video. We're hoping story. tomorrow. <clears throat> big, um, uh, big day tomorrow. People, when we asked people on the street, which one did you like? And they were they were all saying the Anvil, not the Anvil. Yeah, the Anvil. Yeah, Anvil, Anvil was the big one on be, the, uh, be, the north because, side. Yeah, because so many people, the bacon-wrapped jalapeno yeah. thing. And I was like, <laughs> really? That, that's That'll do it for you. That's the closer. <laughs> Are you a jalapeno guy? I can do it. I'm not overjoyed with them, but they're fine. I mean, if, uh, you know, um, there are people who love them. I don't, I, yeah. there's, no, there's no love affair here, that's for sure. <laughs> Keith, the town crier, loves him. Does he? Yeah. Does he eat him daily? No, but like he gets. Uh, have you ever gone to the Mequon Pizza Company? It's uh, yes. It's like uh, the Tomasos without the dim dark. Right, right. Smoky. I haven't been there in a long time, so they're set back a little bit. Yeah, in right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a really good place. But they have Keith has introduced Margo and me to the house chips. Okay, which are which are. The chips like unbelievably good <laughs> yeah chips. and the, you can get them the chips are good I'm, I'm a plain chip guy that was one of the main things in our well i'm not going to go into it but <laughs> at this point <laughs> yeah we only have six yeah. more minutes of show <laughs> but uh keith he always gets on the side you can get cheese and, and jalapenos to do mm. to dip the chips in and I'm, I'm just not a i'm a plain chip guy i don't yeah. I, when yeah, i want I my you. grease i want it salty yeah I don't, I, don't, I don't want do you put anything in your fries I will do, uh, you know, actually, I like barbecue sauce on fries, which is kind of weird, I suppose. I kind of dig that. Give me some, uh, give me some uh, little Southwest fries there. You're a heathen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a I've been heathen. doing that more and more lately, I've discovered. I haven't jumped into the mayo thing. I know people are doing mayo on fries. I know. I don't know. That's, that's just, uh, they're obviously, uh, you know, far more, uh, <laughs> you know. So you went, I'm go, let's go back to the story that you veered us way off on. You oh, went sure. in, ser, in search of the McCurder burger, not the McCurder burger, the <laughs> Curder burger. Yes, at, <clears throat> I did. So I, I rolled up to uh, our Grafton um, Culver's. Culver's at uh, about 1130, 1145. The line was absolutely spilling out into the street, which was great for that area. As you know, it's, there's no there's no traffic there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that was ugly. Uh, I just spun around and uh, decided, mm, yeah, I only get uh, 45 minutes for lunch. Linda's not going to. I don't think the excuse I can come back three hours later and say, hey, man, it was the Curter Burger. <laughs> <You know? Amen. laughs> Got to be good stewards of uh, taxpayer dollars here. <laughs> so, oh, uh, please. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mc, McGag me. <laughs> so um, and I wound up having the afternoon off that day. <laughs> um, so. What, so you took in, it off so you could go in search of a Curter burger? No, no. It was something. It was a beautiful the, day. Sun was shining. Kids, six, yeah. 60 degrees. <laughs> the I bike path, the bike path was, 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 was calling my name, but I'll be damned if I was getting out of line. I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John Grisham had a new book, but I'm like, ah, phooey. <laughs> Get me a oh, Curter burger. I don't blame burger. you for that. Um, <laughs> right. So I went over to the uh, Port Washington. Um, what? Well, I live I live in that neck of the woods anyway. So I tried the Port Washington Culver's and uh, that probably rolled up there about 130, 145. And I said, hey, slide me one of them <laughs> Curter burgers. Why don't you? <laughs> Did you get for eating monkey butt, drinking monkey butt coffee? <laughs> that, uh, is, that is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> the going, hey. <laughs> Slide me, one gets of, all the slide, slide me one of them. Everybody's going, ooh. Hey, cre ladies. Cre 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 creepy Jeff is back. 
Hey! <laughs> yeah, I'd be one of the one of the king of the king of the Kurta Burger. <laughs> <laughs> your, your head is going to explode today. You <laughs> laughed. So, you laughed so hard that you had to take your glasses. I've never seen you take your glasses. <laughs> it's <off>. been a while. <laughs> well, you know, Macbeth got you. Much <laughs> jocularity on the on the jocularity show. Um, yeah, get your morning. But back. anyway. The king of the Kurter Burger was denied. Oh, <laughs> they what? said, slide on, <laughs> king. <laughs> they said, sorry, we're out of that like hour and a half ago. So so then yeah. what did you do? Did you just drive off in a huff or did you order something else? <laughs> no, I just enjoyed my plain old double cheeseburger with fries. What do you get on the what do you get on your double cheeseburger? Ketchup. They, what? what <laughs> Whatever what they give me. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, not a whole lot. I'll do some pickles. Actually, I don't mind onions, but uh, if I eat onions here on my in my advanced years, I've noticed that I make strange noises about an hour later. So, <laughs> nobody wants. You're to be always that. making strange noises. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, why we should onions be any different? Oh God. <laughs> I, I just it, unfortunately it feels like a potential of uh, ventilation in my sternum area too. So it just is not a good. That's not, a good, not thing. good. So no. all right, let's get back to the really important thing. Yes. Forget forget the the, the foolish <laughs> recall yeah. election in, in down south. Um, when is Macbeth going to? You froze up. Try that again. Your, uh, this your, is going to be internet performed on the hit. show. I said we need we need we need we we need a premiere date for the Mac, for Macbeth on the Jack Hankey show. We got to have. Got, uh, you need you need to have. No, no. Here, I'll do this. Okay. You have until tomorrow to come up to come up with a an open Strips? date. <laughs> oh, a no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. if you, I know you. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> but but I know without with without a due date, it ain't never get done. And this is an important part. This is, this could be this the, is the break. cultural side of our show. Yes. That's right. Yes, Macbeth. I so Macbeth, but with like a I, McDonald's I, spin. I can just see people saying, "Yeah, you forgot the A." No, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this will be this will be huge. I can see uh, huge gonna, Hefner. It's absolutely. Be- so, and and you know, during the pandemic, uh, theatrical companies were doing a lot of theater on Zoom. So we're not, uh, you know, we're not that far off the mark here. And we have to uh, cobble together the uh, Jack Henke, the mighty Jack Henke players. Yeah, I think uh, so any, uh, any performers get, within the sound of our voice who want to <laughs> torpedo their careers. <laughs> you get cobbling. It's going to take some doing. Absolutely. <laughs> Apple cobbler. That's right. So, uh, yeah, big stuff. And uh, we will uh, and the bard will be. There'll be a lot of uh, fresh dirt around his grave as he twirls and spins. So that's <laughs> good. <laughs> Boy, I you said, know. I was like, okay, in the bar. Yeah, that's, okay. No, no. That's, that's oh, sure. That's okay. Wisconsin. <laughs> we'll do a bar tour finally of our, of our no, show. You, you will get us barred. Yes. We disbarred. Speaking of which, this is a public library radio station. You're talking about oh, pornographic true. burgers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here with my coffee, man. <laughs> man. Hey. <laughs> the funny part is, I, can, <laughs> I can see you doing that. That's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> weirdo <laughs> rolling up in my tricell <laughs> so i'd like our our dedicated oh poor little shirley we didn't mention her today oh uh, we just did yeah we, we got under oh. the wire it just slipped to nine o'clock too we're good okay all right <laughs> no laws well, maybe, are broken maybe she show. maybe she knows what's happened to ronald mcdonald's but <laughs> you think she's got some ideas <laughs> <laughs> she <haven't inspired> maybe. <laughs> you know uh, but you know you know who our restaurant critic is, he is well, yeah town crier the town crier he's 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 not only he's he can be he's critical of everything so he you That's need true. a critic he's he's your guy right there <laughs> uh, at, he'll probably be critical of today's episode I think. <laughs> cr- critic at large ah <laughs> uh, yes he said, he said what are you guys going to talk about every day and i said are you kidding like today you didn't even get out barely got out of the news oh my god <laughs> I turned purple at least twice. I know that. I like grimace. <laughs> That's right. You turn purple. And, you turn. You turn purple, and I grimace. Hey, Ronald, are we doing Macbeth today? 
Be gone, Nave. <laughs> by the pricking of my thumb, something greasy this way comes. All right. Oh. <laughs> I gotta I gotta do a Cliff Notes version of the Macbeth so I know Yeah, no what yeah, what you're getting into. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll have a plum roll for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, plum. boy. All right, folks. It's 9 o'clock, 9.02, actually. We went two minutes over, so uh, we'll send you the bill. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in today. No, Back tomorrow, tomorrow with... McPaddy McHanson. <laughs> Patty McHanson. Patty Mc- Cedarburg person of the century, Patty Hanson. Will be yeah, with she's, us. she's slinging McDiamonds these days, I hear. And you... Yes, Talk too long. We didn't even get to talk about Linda's uh, pictures in the paper today. Oh, I didn't uh, even get for, to the paper. For, that that paper did for, not show up before the show. For her Paul Harris uh, award that she Excellent. Got. Very significant. And Give us a little important. something to talk about tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, she said to be sure and talk a little bit about the library. So. Well, we talked about Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, right. That's true. <laughs> if you're looking for a copy of Macbeth to get to, to, to prepare. You know, to memorize some lines, we do have copies upstairs in the Shakespeare section. And I so. need a Vonnegut recommendation. You had, you said you were going to do that. You did. I can do that. I'll throw you one tomorrow. Throw okay. you a bone. I'll All right, even, everybody. I'm returning my books this week. I'm we clear the runway. Uh, I'll check with the air traffic <laughs> controller and see if we can get you to taxi down the t- taxi in one piece. All right, folks, it's the Jack Hinky show, the daily version. Day two. We'll see if our contract is renewed for tomorrow. Patty Hanson tomorrow. Patty Hanson tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Adios. Bye.